It will all come down to this. The final push, the last efforts, the most important exams were in 24 hours. And this is the vlog for finals week of a medical student. If you're new here, hi, I'm Anuj, a student at Government Medical College, Nagpur. And to become a member of the family, just hit the subscribe button. Thanks a lot to Grammarly for sponsoring a segment of this video. All right, enjoy the film. I stayed up late last night, just reading KDT and practicing some recall. Tomorrow paper and it is like 24 hours to go right now for the exams. So I just got my breakfast. While my breakfast was here, I did the same exact thing which I did last night. 24 hours to go and half the subject to cover two times. That's a big task, but I was up to it. While I was reading, I got a message on WhatsApp telling me that I had to come to college to acquire the hall ticket for the exam. Okay, so long story short, I have to go to college to get the hall ticket and I'm doing that right now. I don't have a lot of time, so see you. Hall ticket acquired, mission accomplished. We got the hall ticket guys. After the hall ticket was done, I came back home, showered and started doing the same thing. I don't actually have the physical book, Shan Ba, but I'm using a PDF over here on my iPad. On the right side I've got the important topics PDF and on the left side I've got the main PDF of the book itself. Even though I had the IMPs, I was still reading the entire thing. I don't know why I did that. Ever since papers have started, every single day before the paper, this group of three of us, Abhijit Adityanuj, hanging out in the evening for two hours, just discussing and revising all the important MCQ points. Because most of the times before the exams, we are busy reading and revising but we completely forget to actually practice the most important thing, that is MCQs. MCQs are really, really high scoring, and if you can nail every single one of them, you would be the topper. A lot of the times people ask me, Anuj, what motivates you to create videos such as this one? So there are two answers. First of all, I really love making videos, and I absolutely love the response that you guys give. And second of all, sponsors. This video is sponsored by Grammarly. If you didn't know, Grammarly is a digital writing assistant and I've used it for the past one year for almost all my writing work. Be it for the scripts of this channel, the blog posts from my website or the questions that I write for my personal use. It's effortless to install, just download the browser extension and sign up for free. That's it, you're done. The free version can do all the basic stuff for you like spelling and grammar correction, but the premium version is so good and has so many different features. My favorite feature about Grammarly is that it suggests you to rephrase your sentences in order for them to sound more meaningful, concise, and more powerful. After that, it also reviews how that sentence might sound to somebody and allows me to achieve that emotion via rephrasing. Here's an example of one of my blog posts. I can select all the features of the audience so that the writing matches what the audience actually understands. Notice not only how it catches the grammar grammatical mistakes but also suggests some rephrasing. Writing is essential and Grammarly can definitely help you with it. It has got various other features like plagiarism detection which comes really handy when you have to submit an assignment that you may or may not have copied from the internet. It also gives you word suggestions and alternatives. In all, I think Grammarly helps you to write better and also become a better writer in the process. Anyway, suppose you want to check out Grammarly, you can do so by going to the link grammarly.com slash anuj and signing up for free. And if you want to get all the fabulous features that I just talked about, you can get all of that for 20% off using the link grammarly.com slash anuj. Thanks a lot to Grammarly for sponsoring this segment. Now back to the video. The book that you see on the right side has died a long time ago, but I was too busy to replace the cells. You can also see me creating a list over here. Those are the areas of my preparation that I find are weak. Hi everyone, it's me Anuj. It's currently 12.15 or 12.30 right now. And my exam is literally in 15 hours, I guess. I am feeling very excited because finally my final exams are going to start. Anyways, this is me signing out. Catch you guys tomorrow. Today is my exam at 2 and it's currently 9. So I have a lot of time to revise. Let us start. On the day of the examination, I always try to revise everything at least once because I believe in this concept called a short term memory. Basically, you're putting all the information in your short term memory so that it could be recalled faster. However, if the question comes from the outside, only your long term preparation will save you. As the last actual offline paper I gave was 16 months ago, giving a real paper was a bit anxious. I'm getting a bit anxious by now, uh, but hopefully by the end of today, I'll be saying to you that wow, the paper was so good, it was so easy. I have a few things to revise right now. Phew! Ah. <laughs> it was around one hour to go to the final paper and I kept on revising, kept on revising. I really wanted to stop, but the anxious part inside me told me, ye bhi padle, ye bhi aega. Ye sab padle, ye bhi aega. Right, boys, this is it. One hour to go. 
इट्स वन राइट नाउ टू थर्टी में पेपर स्टार्ट होता है फार्मेक वन हियर आई कम एंड आई एम गोना शैटर यू आई एम गोना बी एक्सेलेंट एट इट ओके गाइज आई विल सी यू ऑन दी अदर साइड So I made my way towards the college. Due to the current situation of the world, the center for the examination was our college itself. So the stress was, I guess, fifty percent decreased. Reached GMC Nagpur. कौन सा मेरा? PSM. PSM three. तो देखो हमने पढ़ाई तो बहुत की है, but in the end जो कुछ होता है उसमें last factor बहुत important रहता है. और सब enjoy करना है. That is the most important. Enjoying the process is more exactly. important. Exactly. Look, MBA exam is junior exam. Pass over, pass over. That's right. Okay, guys. See you. Since I had not been to college in such a long time, I had completely forgotten what a maze it was. And after 15 minutes of here and there, I finally found the room which I was looking for. And then I went inside and gave the paper. Absolutely. Gave the paper. I talked to my friends outside in the anatomy parking, and after that, we left. This was the first paper. and the most important point that i learned over here is that omr sheet filling can be really stressful and bubbling mistake is the one thing which you should definitely avoid i did not do it but i just remembered my need to pressure days came back from the paper 1 hour ago uh, the paper went excellent it was so good so good so good every question was from the practical part and i i guess messed up one or two mcqs clearly shouldn't have done that but it's gone I don't have to think about it. Perso, that is the day after tomorrow. I have my Pharmac two paper, which is so goddamn huge. So I need to get up and start studying for that. But before that, we'll take a break for two hours and watch a movie. It was awesome. Told you, I'll forget it. Forget it. After that, I replied to some emails and watched some videos on YouTube. Let's watch Watchmen. All right, Watchmen. Let's watch Watchmen. I shifted my PC to the relax chillax mode and watched Watchmen for 1 hour. And after that I did not study much and went to bed. The very next day I had an awesome breakfast of idli and started working on for pharmacology 2. Pharmacology paper 2 is I guess one of the most uneven papers that you can imagine. It has so much more syllabus than the first one and so less time to complete all of it. Moreover, the drugs, their classification, side effects, effects Everything is so volatile. You cannot prepare for Pharmac 2 with one or two days of preparation, just because of the sheer volatility of the subject. That is the important topic PDF. On the left side, I've got Shan Bab. What I can also tell you is that since I've studied a few systems from medicine, those systems were very easy for me in Pharmac. For example, respiratory system. All the drugs you study in Pharmac are going to come back in medicine, and in fact, in medicine you won't even have to learn them. While doing this I listened to some music and enjoyed studying. But still I was doing this one critical mistake which I should have avoided a long time ago, reading every single line. Never ending. Pharmac is never ending. So I've come to a conclusion that reading pharmacology for university examination especially the second part, you need a strat otherwise it's impossible. So my my genius original strat is this only read the important topics and skip most of the other topics right and till now since yesterday i was reading like every single line of the book and i finished like 150 pages or 180 pages from last night but now i got to stop that i'm just you're awesome you can do this all right i hugely underestimated what the syllabus was nonetheless i kept practicing i kept writing down the classifications reading mnemonics making mnemonics and putting everything into my short term memory one good thing that came to me from all of this exam thing was that i actually realized how important is long term preparation is a lot to take in can i do what i am asked to do another question i get asked frequently is anuj how do you study when a camera is looking at you and i tell them when you've released like 30 vlogs in which every single one of them you're studying you're pretty used to it And up until making this video, I always felt like I did not study much for the university exams. But now that I've edited it and recording the narration, my God, it was a lot of preparation. Here I am revising the generations of cephalosporins. And then the struggle continued over and over until it was night. Outside was beautiful but inside it was another story. 
and before I knew it, it was time for another Google Meet. Guys, there is a thunderstorm going out there. I'm really missing Minecraft because in Minecraft, if there is a thunderstorm, you can use channeling. Look at that. And that channeling will, you know, turn mobs into different sort of mobs. It was a very big thunderstorm, unlike anything I've ever witnessed so far. After the Google Meet was done, I listed out all the important topics that I need to read before the examination and continued studying. No matter how difficult the question paper is, if you have done the work, nothing can stop you. My iPad was running out of battery, so I plugged it into my MacBook's charger. My room was an absolute mess after recording and reading for an entire day. It's around 1 in the night and I've just done the part of Pharmacology 2 about 2 times revision. In all of my life of giving papers, Pharmacology 2 has been the most anxious one yet. Because in this one I genuinely felt like there is literally so much to read, so much to recall, so much to recollect that it could get really difficult in the examination. <laughs> this, is, this has been an exciting journey so far man. And uh, I also got the sponsorship from Grammarly, which is great. Oh my god, so many things to do. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good morning everyone, I just woke up, it's around 8.40. So we have like 5 hours before the examination and I'll just quickly revise almost everything. Let's go. My god, I studied a lot. I mean, I'm looking at this footage right now, I'm realizing, wow. Kya hard work hai, yaar. And I'm also telling myself, kitna padta hai ye banda. <laughs> Main to nahi pad pauga itna. After sitting for so long, I felt like paresthesia in my lower limbs. So I decided I'd go stand near the window and study. Kuch bhi ho padai to karna hai. I think that I am feeling a bit confident, more confident than yesterday I think. We are going to rock, we are going to prevail. Finally, pharmacology will end today. By the way, check out the weather. The weather was super duper awesome. After the amazing rain last night, the weather was extremely cool and I loved it. I'm ready for it. Let's go. Let's go. This is it. This is what all this preparation had come to. I left home and went for the examination center. By the way, this is how our classroom looked like. I did not know that there was a person inside and I kept on shooting. And after that, I gave the paper. After giving the paper, we met on the right side of the college, just talking about things. And realized that all this hard work that I did finally paid off. Uh, your editing is so good, man. Your MacBook is awesome. paper was very um, easy, I would say, and uh, it went super awesome. So excited uh, that pharmacology is finally done and now I won't have to study pharma till like one month completely. <laughs> Mummy is driving me and I will catch you when I reach home. Bye. And then I reached home and I caught you. Hey everyone, tomorrow I've got a video on the channel. See you there. I posted this on Instagram and wasted the rest of the time of that day because I did not feel like studying at all. The next day was Sunday and this is what happened. Hi everyone, I just uploaded the video on YouTube. Three years of being a medical student and also And now it's time to get studying for patho because since yesterday I have not recorded anything, I haven't studied anything. So this is it, finally patho 1. Without any further ado, let us start. Let's do it. I did not do it. 
Hi everyone, an unfortunate event occurred in the afternoon. I did not feel like studying, so I wasted the entire afternoon. Here I am at 6 and I'm just opening the Robins. The reason is I've studied it so many times, I honestly genuinely feel like I don't want to study it right now, but I'm not gonna make that mistake. I'm gonna quickly read Robins, read Harshman, read notes, draw some diagrams. My god, that sounds like a lot. And finally, end the pathology one part. So every day before the examination, we are having this two hour long Google meet with Aditi and Abhijit so that we could, you know, prepare collectively for the exam and uh, I and Abhijit answer the MCQs while Aditi reads them. We try to discuss the answer and why it is the answer. You don't have to, yeah, see Aditi is already over here. And we continued discussing MCQs and fighting on which answer is right and why is it the correct one. I also made some Google searches to find out the correct answers. Those were worth it because from the discussion at least 3 or 4 questions came which I am super proud of. That I wouldn't have gotten correct if it wasn't for the discussion. currently 12 12 i'm kind of tired 90 percent of the syllabus is done 10 percent is left and i think i'm gonna sleep now have a good night see you tomorrow for you that's like one second for me that's like hours right hi everyone i just woke up and it's around 8 15 right now and we'll just you know start in the morning i took a shower and started doing the things which i wrote down on my whiteboard I'm kind of ready, I just looked at the important topic PDF, it seems like I have done everything. It's just the inside of me is telling me that you still need to revise because that's what we all do. Oh, it's mildly stressing, but we got this. I kept reading from the notes of Abhijit, from Harsh Mohan, and yeah, it was finally time. For the iPad over here, we've got some rough notes, we've got main robins, we've got this book, we've got hematology, we've got my notes, we've got this robins. And this is my room before Pathology 1. I can only imagine what will happen before Pathology 2. This is it. Here we go. In reference, Pathology 2 is at least 3 times bigger than Patho 1. I personally feel that. I sharpened the HNE pencil and made my way to go to college. Alright guys, Patho 1, here I come. For Kangi, this is it. We got this. Totally got this. Say hi to the camera. Hello. My mom wished me luck and I went to the anatomy parking. This is the spot where we wait for each other before we go ahead. We shall prevail. We shall. We shall. What are your thoughts? About what? Patho. And we shall prevail. <laughs> <laughs> And then we went in for the paper. And my god, the paper was an adventure in itself. So the question paper was um, kind of difficult. A few questions were unexpected. But nonetheless, uh, it went awesome. After about 25 pages, proud of myself. Hi Sanika. Hi. How are you? How are you? How are you? Sometimes in papers, what you have to do is use the knowledge of everywhere to write the answers and that's what we did in some of the questions. I also felt like time was a bit short on this one. My friends told me that their paper was okay-ish so we thought we could go to the store and get that's ourselves difficult. some treat. Not gonna lie, it challenged a lot of our abilities but we shall overcome and we will prevail. Can I visit? I'm so proud of myself. Even the atypical topic which came, I nailed them. And that's what long-term preparation does to you. Paper was a bit difficult. Um, like I said, couldn't have done it better. By the way, if you're enjoying this video, a subscribe to the channel would be awesome. Just do it right now, please. Okay, thanks a lot. Well, it's absolutely pouring out there. I don't know where I got this line we will prevail from but it was something which I held on throughout the entire papers. 
and it is really powerful too Hi everyone, it's the next day. Tomorrow I have my pathology 2 paper. I'm not really worried about it because I've studied patho 2 so many times. Uh, remember that one video I did where I studied entire systemic pathology in one day? Basically, we have to do that twice. <laughs> once today and once tomorrow before the paper that is. I'm really confident about it. The only thing here that matters more is the histopathology. A lot of histopathology has to be practiced today and I will make sure to do that. So I did exactly that. Going through the different systems, I understood that the second paper of each and every single subject is the one which I worry for the most. Because every time it is systemic, means anything can be asked from any single part of the body. I also practiced a lot of diagrams. And after that, we sat for a Google Meet. The paper which came was a bit atypical. It felt like some of the questions were really difficult. Nevertheless, the paper I did was good. Anything could have been asked from anywhere. But irrespective, I feel like I did good and that's all that matters. The next paper was micro one and then I prepared for it. In the morning, I studied with my friends. I feel a bit tired today. Tomorrow is my micro one paper. Actually, I feel like I have some sort of just a malaise that I've been feeling that I read about in books. <sighs> Unexpected, I don't know what caused it because I got this. I've studied the entire year. It will come to me when I need it. All right, good night. Good morning, everybody. I just woke up, I'm feeling great. It's around 8.30 right now. Let's just revise microbiology one for the last time and then we'll be free forever. The next day I felt good, practiced an active recall kind of thing using my whiteboard where I, where I explained things to myself using the board. You should try this next time you have a paper, it's really effective. The graph that I'm drawing over here was our first short note in the final paper so this all paid off. After that, I was done with the micro paper, which came super easy and I loved it. Before the next paper, we had two days of holidays, but being a YouTuber, I had to edit the video because literally thousands of people are waiting for the Sunday 10 a.m. So after coming back from the paper, I sat for nearly 10 hours editing the entire footage. Hey everyone, I just completed editing the first edit of the video, that is the basic storyline. It's actually rendering right now. The video is awesome, but I've got a lot of editing to do right now because tomorrow I need to study. So hopefully I sleep. I hope it's not sunrise actually. The next morning I was fresh and after completing the video, I started studying micro. It was micro two. And what you can see me doing over here is viruses. Later that night, I also did parasites and completed the syllabus. You can see me talking over here because I was on a phone call and I'm not really crazy. Micro two was also done. And with that, I had knocked down 75% of all the subjects that we had. One, forensic medicine is the only paper that is left that is going to happen tomorrow. So excited about when the exams are going to end and I'll be done with second year MBBS theory exams at least. Uh, the only problem is once the last exam approaches, you suffer something called as the last paper syndrome. We all are suffering from it, I'm pretty sure. And right now, instead of studying, I studied like one or two chapters right now. We discussed for one hour about which city we want to go in uh, after the examination is done. <laughs> so that is the deal. But now I have taken to myself and I will beat this last paper syndrome and I will also rock FMT by studying for three to four hours, three to four hours straight. All right, this is it. Last paper. Here we go. So in the morning of the next day, I kept on studying and studying FMT and it was a very big syllabus. Trust me. People say a lot about forensic medicine. I personally feel like it's one of the best subjects out there because it is just so logical. Plus, it gives you some real life examples which you can relate to. And most of all, it makes you feel like you're Sherlock Holmes, which is just a cherry on the top of the cake. But I completely underestimated how much syllabus we have to complete in forensic medicine. So 
in all i have done fm right now toxicology is left that i will start tomorrow morning i'm pretty confident about the paper the reason is because i have studied like 90% of everything that is important and i think that should be fine uh, even if some question comes from some other topics i think we can extrapolate that information to write down <laughs> whatever the question is asking for us i'll catch you in the morning bye good night in the morning of the last exam for second year mbbs i studied and prepared for the worst forensic is the only paper in which i studied more on the day of the exam than the day before the exam i'm pretty sure all the mhs students can relate to this it's around 1 hour and 15 minutes to go for forensic medicine and by the looks of it we will pass no worries we shall prevail we must prevail told you we shall prevail and we must prevail and finally ended the syllabus for the final exam and finally for the last time for this examination made my way to gmc nagpur and saw these guys waiting for me throughout all these papers i had never been the first person to come in fact i had always been the last person took some shots of the examination hall and then sat for the paper the paper came very easy and i rocked it thanks to the preparation that i had done after the paper was done we met at the anatomy parking for the last time hi arya hello the paper kaisa gaya we clicked a few photographs for posting on instagram guys second year ke theory exams khatam ho chuke hai kaisa lag raha hai tumhe After that a few of my friends came back home with me to chillax for the evening. After all, we deserved it. Exams second year theory done practicals are waited. These are my people. I ordered some food online and finally it arrived and we had a great time together. क्या चाल हो Bye everyone. Bye. And Bye finally Bye. these guys left. So after 2 weeks of studying and 2 years of being a medical student stuck in second year, we were finally done with at least a very big part of it. It was my pleasure to share this journey with you guys and I can't wait to see you next time when I am in third year. All right? Stay safe. It's your boy Anuj Pachel and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.